Rebecca Lansfield was an American bacteriologist born in Wadsworth, New York. Her father was in the Army and was stationed in the U.S. Army Engineer Corps at the time. Being in an Army family, she lived in many different communities during her eight years. She graduated from Wellesley College in 1916 with an degree in zoology, and she was eager to begin her graduate training shortly after. However, she was forced to compromise because of the death of her father. Her mother needed help in supporting her other five sisters. She was able to save enough money through her earnings as a teacher of math and science at an all-girls school in Vermont to eventually begin graduate school. In graduate school, she was able to broaden her knowledge and experience in the branch of biology that interested her most, bacteriology. Lansfield obtained her PhD from Columbia University in immunology and bacteriology. Shortly after, she married Donald Lansfield, a fellow graduate at Columbia who was famous in the Department of Genetics. She finally accepted a position as a technical assistant at the Rockefeller Institute for Medical Research. From there, her studies began, which primarily focused on one type of streptobacterial bacteria. So Lansfield was the first woman to be elected president of the American Association of Immunologists. She was the second woman to become president of the Society of American Bacteriologists. She also created the system for classifying dozens of types of bacteria that is still in use for today. She discovered the M protein that prevents human white blood cells from engulfing and destroying streptococci. This explained why repeated strep throats are so common in childhood. Immunity to one bacteria does not prevent infection with another type. Her discovery of how rheumatic fever develops after infection with scarlet fever led to the recommendation for less crowded barracks to reduce the chance of infectious outbreaks in the army. She served as the president of the Society of American Bacteriologists. She was elected to the U.S. National Academy of Sciences, and she was recognized by, among other awards and honorary degrees, the American of Heart Association Achievement Award, Medal of the New York Academy of Medicine, and the Helen Hay Whitney Foundation. There were a few reasons Rebecca was interested in the type-specific component in hemolytic streptococci from human infections. First being, Rebecca was a lover of biology and a careful scientist. Second, she was stimulated by her roommate's course in zoology. Rebecca devised a system for classifying the dozens of types of streptococcal bacteria. In the mid-1920s, she obtained two antigens in soluble form from hemolytic streptococci, one that was type-specific and responsible for the distinction between the strains from the epidemic in 1918 and another that was species-specific and present in all of the human strains that she examined. Rebecca's biggest tool for classifying the bacteria was the precipitin test. This involved mixing soluble type-specific antigens or substances used to stimulate immune responses with antisera, which is a type of serum containing antibodies to give visible precipitates. Precipitates are the separations of a substance in order to make it possible to study the bacteria on its own. Rebecca found out that her soluble type-specific antigen of streptococcus was a protein and later designated the M protein. She called it M protein because a mat colony occurs when the bacteria is exposed to the antigen. Her soluble species specific antigen turned out to be a carbohydrate in nature. She designed it the C carbohydrate. She found out that the C carbohydrate was not species specific as originally thought, which prompted her to develop a classification system for streptococcal infections.
Rebecca Lansfield's legacy still carries on today due to her contributions to the microbiological field. Due to her willingness to answer microbiological questions, her lab at Rockefeller University was given the nickname, the Scotland Yard of Streptococcal Mysteries. What made Lansfield so famous that she would still be important today was the classification of B. hemolytic streptococcal bacteria, which can cause severe illness in pregnant women and newborns. In honor of her contributions, the Lansfield International Symposium on Streptococci and Streptococcal Diseases is named after her. The samples collected over her career are now held by Rockefeller University as the Lansfield Collection. Today, the collection has over 6,000 streptococci strains. Not only did she become famous for her accomplishments, but she also was well known for her hardworking and generous personality. As an honor to Dr. Lansfield's personal character, as well as her team building skills in the microbiological field, Science Friday published her recipe for eggnog. This was made a tradition of preparing with her lab workers before Thanksgiving every year, served at their Christmas parties annually. This tradition continues today in the same lab to carry on her legacy. Lansfield's biography consists of more than 50 publications over the past 60 years.